Explorers, Casey here from Triple C Camp. Thank you so much for joining me today for our challenge activity. So today we're gonna to get super creative and challenge ourselves with spaghetti towers. So the supplies that you will need are some spaghetti. So I have 20 pieces of non-broken spaghetti here with me. It can just be like some cheap spaghetti, it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. So you want some 20 pieces of spaghetti. We'd like to use one marshmallow. I also have some yarn. So I, I've got about a wingspan's length of yarn. And then I also have about a wingspan's uh, um, wingspan length of masking tape that we will use. Now, for some reason, if you don't have spaghetti or marshmallows, you could also use uh, blue tack if you have any blue tack or sticky tack that can be used as well. So you could just kind of get a big bowl about a, a bowl of marshmallow size and use that. Um, if you have like skewers, you could use skewers as well. We just want to make sure that we ask an adult about the supplies we use first. Uh, you could also use sticks if you have any sticks in your backyard or around your space. And then if you don't have any masking tape, you could also use like sticky tape. And uh, if you don't have yarn, you could use any form of string or something that you have that you can use to tie. So what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to time ourselves. Usually we like to do this challenge for about 20 minutes, but you can do it less, you can do it more, it's completely up to you. You could also do this with your friends or siblings or people in your family um, and kind of make it a different challenge between a few groups based on how many are in your household. So what the goal will be to do today is create a tower as tall as you can using your spaghetti and the marshmallow, yarn and masking tape, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have a nice flat surface that you can use as you'll be trying to construct the tower. Uh, be mindful that the um, marshmallows can get a little bit sticky, so we just wanna make sure you're using a space that's easy to clean up. Feel free to use even like a plastic tray or a plate or something like that, that makes it a little easier to clean up afterwards. And so using your different supplies, you will then start constructing a tower as tall as you can. So the marshmallow you can use to create um, as little like, um, sticky points on the on the table uh, you could also just use this at the end depending on how you want to use it so you can use these supplies however you like as long as it's working with your uh, tower you're allowed to also break up your spaghetti if you like it's completely up to you uh, but once you've used your spaghetti that's all you have to use so you'll have 20 pieces of spaghetti one marshmallow a wingspan of yarn and marshmallows are you ready to get those supplies, 20 minutes, I challenge you to create your spaghetti tower. So here with me today, we also have Erin who is gonna build a tower with us. So we're gonna do both of us so that you can see two different ways that people can build towers and see kind of how we problem solve differently. And then we will challenge ourselves at the end and see kind of who had the biggest tower. So are you ready? Ready. Alrighty, build those towers. Oh, take me to that magic place with friends I hold so dear. It's been my favorite change of pace since I was a pioneer. So if you seek adventure, know that you can find it here. So pack your bags and grab your gear. Let's give our camp a mighty cheer. Purple and gold, the purple and gold. It's even better than the stories we were told. There's no place I'd rather be than T R I P L E C, cause Triple C's the only camp for me. Trailblazers. So we have come to the end of our 20 minutes, and these are the towers that Aaron and I have built. So you can see we've got a few different kind of ideas here. Erin has used her two marsh, uh, she split her marshmallow and used two of them to kind of add some like leg strength and then she's made some little like uh, support arms. Um, however, I've used like four bases to construct my tower and then I've used a little bit of a yarn weaving. So yeah, you can see how we both had some different ideas and uh, the free tallest standing towel win. So today I have been the lucky winner winner chicken dinner. Have fun, get creative. We look forward to seeing what you guys put together. Have a great one. 
some kind of <laughs> wah, wah.